Hey guys, Tamuna here. Today I'm going to be comparing La Roche Pesay and Tilo's Invisible Fluid Sunscreen with Ghani Amber Solar Sunscreen. If this is something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Wait. So this is not a first impression video because I have review these sunscreens individually um just check the link on the screen right now or in the description box for my sunscreen play list if you saw when i reviewed this particular sunscreen i mentioned that it reminds me so much of the la roche Posay one not surprised because both sunscreens are by laurel laurel has about 39 yeah i think so about 39 brands so basically, almost everything we use is by Laurel Group. I also noticed that the La Roche Posay Antilles Fluid got a rebrand in terms of the name and the ingredient list, and I'll talk about that soon. I have about 30 minutes to record this because I have to go to the pool right now. Um, so let's start with swatches first. I like to do that first, and um, I'm going to do the La Roche Posay one. It's almost finished, actually. So this is the La Roche Posay one, fluid, as in as it's called. And now this is the Ghani one. Okay, so from what I've noticed, they have the same look in terms of color, but the La Roche Posay one runs down the most as opposed to the Ghani one. So the Ghani one is a lot thicker in consistency as opposed to the Larish Pussy one. But then they are both fluid sunscreens, I must say. So now let's do face swatch. Let me get my spoon. I already know the amount to use without using a spoon, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a spoon. Links to purchase this spoon is in the description box. I'm using this spoon to give me half measurement of the spoon, mainly because I'm applying it side by side, so I don't need a full spoon for side by side, but you can do what you want. So let's apply La Roche Posay here and apply Ghani here. So starting with La Roche Posay, I'm just going to use it like so. Okay, so I have it here. So this is the Larish Pussy side. Don't forget the back of your neck, guys, your ears. Like I said, I'm going to swim in a bit, so I'm going to still apply sunscreen all over my body. So right here, I have La Roche Posay, and here's my bare skin. La Roche Posay, bare skin. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to wipe the spoon and apply the Ghani one, half spoon, remember? So that's half spoon. And now I'm applying the Ghani to this side. So like I said, it's a lot thicker, so it takes a bit of time to come out. So. Trying to check if there's a difference. Do you guys notice anything? The La Roche Posay, Ghani. The La Roche Posay side feels soft and gives me a soft matte finish. While the Ghani side is a lot softer, like my skin feels a lot softer and also leaves me with a soft matte finish. It, at this point, I can say that they are the same thing, just that we'll come to the ingredients in a bit. Let me smell both of them just so that we know what's up. They smell alike. <laughs> they smell alike. So let's move to 
ingredients. So the La Roche-Posay sunscreen contains glycerin, tocopherol. In terms of sunscreen filters, it contains octosalate, avobenzone, Uvinol T150, Tinosub S, Mexoril XL, Mexoril SX. The Ghani one contains glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, tocopherol, avobenzone, octosalate, Uvinol T150, Tinosub S, Mexoril XL, Mexoril S. X. So if you don't want to spend money buying the La Roche Posay one that retails for like 18 pounds, you can get your hands on the Ghana one that's from eight pounds up. You can also find them on sale. If you're in the US, you can find these from Care to Beauty and I think Look Fantastic also has them. Now let's talk about the new packaging that La Roche Posay has. Not necessarily a new packaging, more like a name change or a name addition so this is what the old and the new one looks like side by side notice that the new sunscreen has uv money 400 attached to the name so what makes the old larish per se different from the new larish per se in my opinion just one sunscreen filter makes them different it is called uvinol a plus is a new generation chemical sunscreen filter for uva protection this was approved in 2020 when I checked. So that's all. If you get your hands on the old packaging, which I have here, you're fine. These sunscreen basically do not have expiry date, if I can remember. Yeah, they don't have expiry date. So as soon as you open, bear in mind that in 12 months, my sunscreen has expired but you should finish this in 12 months come on on or before 12 months one bottle should finish in about a month come on <laughs> apply sunscreen religiously okay it helps your skin so if you don't want to spend money buy the Ghana. if you want to spend money buy the large per se but just know that the Ghana has sodium hyaluronate and the large per se doesn't have sodium hyaluronate so aside the ingredients and the price another difference is quantity so this contains 50 ml and this contains 40 ml worth of products in conclusion this the Ghana and the large per se sunscreen is the same thing they are the same thing that's all for my review guys i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching